Also, Drew never was in the studio together. They didn't. They went in the studio doing California. They loathed each other. He was Dr. Dre, just captured in Tupac's homicide Dre. He truly didn't need Tupac on that laborer yet. He made him put him on there. Will be there any reality today, gracious Dr. Dre? Bin had that thump. He had that thump for some time in spite of the fact that it might create the impression that he doesn't say a lot of I can guarantee you that he can end your life at any second since. See the 1,996 homicide of rap whiz Tupac Shakur allegations and blame shifting have been coordinated towards various veeps, including Sneak Home Slice Diddy, and presently Dr. Dre since the capture of scandalous gangster Keith D. Many expected the case would be shut. Lastly, following 27 years of considering what befell Tupac that unfortunate night in Las Vegas, September 7, 1996, the world had found reality. While it shows up, there's much more going on. Make certain to stay close by till the end for the all relevant info proceeding joining death row and starting work with a man Tupac believed Dr. Drew to be one of his legends anyway. This immediately changed when Dr. Drew was too occupied to even think about affirming at Sneak Canine's homicide preliminary, despite the fact that Sneak Homeboy and Dr. Drew were close and Sneak even filled in as something of a prodigy Dree never really had Sneak cleared if you could recollect from a past video we covered on the circumstance, see Sneak canine supposed assault. Seation and Tupac shooting Suji Knight was the man that gave Sneak his legitimate group, which kept him from doing serious J-time and Sue Knight additionally expressed that Dr. Dree and Tupac despised each other so Knight a previous record leader has amazingly asserted that Dr. Dree didn't create Tupac. California Love or Sneak K-9s from the rear collection addressing TMZ from In the Slammer, where he is as of now carrying out a 28-year punishment for the 2015 homicide of Terry Carter Knight Garen. E that D. Dillinger, a maker rapper and K-9 pound protege, was truly the minds behind Death Row Records' most notable deliveries, Sh claims that Dr. Dre and Peace were never companions they abhorred each other Pac and Dre, at absolutely no point ever was in the studio in the future they went in the studio during California, they abhorred each other he was cool with Pac coming brother he invite P, on the off chance that he wasn't in the event that he didn't believe that Peace should be their brother he was. But have recently lost him some, you understand what I mean, ensure you buy into the feed and turn on the post notice ringer. This way you won't ever pass up any future VIP recordings like these. What's the big deal about days is this person I went to and said you got to complete the collection. Suge told TMZ from a Californian state prison, he did the entire he did all that on from the rear. Without anyone else, the entire collection was done. He did all that he created it so when the time had come to you, to come out the road said, well, they believe Andre Dr. Dre should be on it. Sue board and Andre said, I need to be on there. So Andre went today and said, look, man, let me say it was created by me and put my name on it. You'll get compensated yet allowed me to be the person who created it. So I let days. No, that is something he needed to do. I don't suggest it since you're the person who created it and you're surrendering your distributing. So days marked administrative work and said it was created by Dre. Moreover, Tupac could have done without that Dr. Dre was getting all the credit for delivering everyone's eyes on me in 1996, despite the fact that Dr. Dre truly contributed very little to the tune Tupac, never masked his scorn for Dr. Dre, he made a hit at Dr. Dre in a meeting with Energy. Magazine saying he wasn't creating other was delivering the thumps, and he was getting all the credit he a bonehead maker yet he ain't worked in years, requiring three years to do one melody after Dre withdrew from death. Roe in virtually every melody he's delivered Tupac reprimands him, and cases he's by in the 1996 collection Day Illuminati's The Seven Day Hypothesis he jabbed. We shook Dree Punk, now we out of the storage room California love part mother thing too. Without gay ass streak. Practically the entire third stanza of Throw It Up on a similar collection was committed to scrutinizing Dr. Dree no longer Dree Day arrive, check your sexuality as fruity, as this Elise shouting Compton yet you can't return, you ain't heard sibling. Pissed see you, you exchanged and break to the birds the melody's thump, especially preceding the collection's remix, was quite like Dr. Dre's Dark Road. No digity most of the initial section of a tune called Watch Your Mouth was additionally aimed at Dr. Dre, since Dre was working with Nas quickly.
Following his delivery from Death Row Pass, expressed the A caused a thump in six years to swear he the will not get no record deals sucking in OS doc. So you can see from this by itself, and from what Sue Knight was talking about in regards to their fight as of late too, as he expressed this on his gather see with Sue Knight digital broadcast from prison. There was some strain between the pair for quite a long time, so you can comprehend the reason why individuals might accept Udri was associated with the Tupac K. Fans have been posting blended feelings on this present circumstance in with posts like I resided in Vegas when this hit occurred, and they expressed that in those days Dr. Dre was involved. I mean, I see... A rationale behind it, Tupac was a relentless lyricist Dre lacked the ability to put out his last piece of the persistent insufficient proof on Dre. But rather we know what's up before we go any further into the video. What are your folks' fair considerations in this whole circumstance is it looking? Likely that Dr. Dre was engaged with Tupac murder case, or as everybody simply hypothesizing remark down underneath you, was Dr. Dre just captured in Tupac's homicide so we as a whole realize that the police as of late captured Key D for Tupac's homicide after he conceded to being the shot guest behind the case on a meeting with DJ Vlad he additionally asserted that he was paid to have this murder done. And everyone is anticipating that he should squeal on whoever put out that agreement currently. In a homicide examination, the clearest by and large ends up being the situation and everyone has been anticipating that he should point fingers at Diddy for the person who put forth the cash to have Tupac killed. Let its far-fetched Dr. Dre was the man behind Tupac's homicide case, and particularly wasn't the one behind the actual shooting yet. It is extremely evident that over the course of their time cooperating, it wasn't all daylights and rainbows and they obviously didn't appear to get on by any stretch. Of the imagination as the reality Dr. Dre didn't need Tupac on California Love Talks ponders when Tupac got back home. I saw that thump like Dr. Dre's heart he that was like one of his like goodness he had. Such an arrangement for it that he was attempting to sort out how am I going to manage this thump since it was so horrifying and banging, yet it was fun Tupac got back home so I took a gander at when he gave him California love. I took a gander at like Dr. Dre gave Tupac his hot, that is what that. Thump resembled to me when it came to Dr. Dre coos. I used to go in there while he was chipping away at it. He, it was, that was his child that California left thump was Dr. Dre's child most would agree that Tupac C made a ton of foes in this period when he was the essence of hit bounce from the different recordings we've made on the circumstance you could, in a real sense, direct fingers at numerous individuals, only due toward how questionable Tupac was, and how much quarrels he would get him himself. Associated with Dr. Dre was vexed in light of the fact that he could never again create quality music as a result of the mark steady hug of cynicism and rogue governmental issues when Tupac was set free from jail. Island began investing time with Suge Knight. The two began touching off the East Coast versus West Coast War, which made the air of the name harmful and hazardous. The famous hoodlum was empowering circle records and more as well as undermining individuals in the roads. Yet after Tupac died, Dre could never again deal with the toxic substance that came working with Knight. Rather, he collaborated with Jimmy Levine, who utilized lawful means to eliminate the G-Funk maker from the mark at any risk.